Today I'm in a Skoda Octavia VRS 245 hatch. It's a 2 litre TSI 245PS DSG. Um, it's finished in Meteor Grey, which uh, is actually a very nice colour, although I always call it Primer. Um, the car looks beautiful. It's got these um, gloss black and uh, diamond cut alloy wheels, which look really nice as well. The recommended retail price or the on the road price for this vehicle is 29,490 in its standard form. This however has got the um, optional extras fitted, the adaptive cruise control £575, the Canton sound system £505, corner and front fog lights £130, crew protection assistance and rear side airbags £445, dynamic chassis control £860. Heated windscreen with heated front washer nozzles, 360. Lane assist and blind spot, 390. Intelligent light assistant, 315. Rear view parking camera, 380. And the Alcantara steering wheel, 190 pounds. I, I've got to say, I, I love the steering wheel, um, amongst other things. That brings this one to a total retail price of 33,640. It's, it's well specified already. It's absolutely fantastic to drive. Um, there's so many configurations in the vehicle, so many different settings. I've been using it for a week now, and honestly, I, I've not even scratched the surface. Um, I can tell you already that it drives fantastic. I'm just gonna take you for a ride in it now, through the country lanes, uh, round the uh, Trough of Boland, and uh, see for yourself just how well it handles um, and, and how nice the ride is. To accentuate the uh, black grill, the black wheels, we've also got black door mirrors here. It's de-chromed, black trim around the windows, dark tinted glass. There's absolutely loads of room in the pack. And today I, I've, it's full three camera cases my drone case tripods uh, and all my other equipment um, you've got a, a load cover here but again one of the one of the good things is just just a little handle here to to pull the thing down um you know if you're a little there's, there's even a hole in it i suppose to to put an extension on if you're if you're too short to grab that so great great finish Rear spoiler on the back, reversing sensors, the reflector in the back, the twin exhaust tips. The, the, car's, the car's an eyeful from outside. It, it's, uh, it's very, very well designed. It's the little things on the Skoda, the, the detailing. Um, they seem to have tried really, really hard to make a perfect car. We've got LED rear lights and uh, just, just things like this. In, inside there, a nice scraper, always to hand. When uh, I went to Prague a few months ago, uh, all the taxis over there are, are Skodas, and I was really impressed with the legroom then. I thought we were in a long wheelbase and it was just a standard car. Now, I've got my seat a long way back uh, my driver's seat. I've got plenty of legroom, plenty of headroom. The seats are so comfortable. Um, I love this Alcantara, but having used this, the, the Alcantara, I, I would choose this over leather every, every single time. Uh, it is really, really well finished off. As I say, bags of room in it. You've also got this uh, armrest with the uh, cup holders in the center there and a ski hatch. There's lots of little things that um, are fitted to this Skoda that you you, you probably never notice in, until they come in handy. I'll take you for a ride in it. And as if by magic, somebody appears out of nowhere. 
right beautiful car beautiful finish um, if I had to pick faults with it it would be the same fault with any car uh, it's all this polished glass these days which which is fine until you start using the sat nav and so on and, and then the, the screen gets absolutely full of fingerprints but that, that's nobody's fault the car's got um, Apple CarPlay as well if you uh, plug your phone into the USB thing and then pl plug the right end of your phone into this I'll just show you iPhone connection will be established with Apple CarPlay just turn that down and you, you've got the same screen as you would have on your phone or a similar screen um, I'll just take you for a ride in it This car has more functions than uh, you can possibly learn. I've been trying my best. I've had the car for four or five days, um, although I have been working as well. I've not been on it full time. And it, it's, it's just got so much in it. For instance, it's got, uh, I can connect it to my phone and kind of browse the internet. If you go into there, into media command, will land unavailable let's just go into this right, so first of all switch on personal hotspot it, it won't seem to connect unless you've got it on that screen I would have thought it would have just connected automatically but anyway so LAN it'll look for it. it's found my phone there so that that's what I want it's uh, picking up it's also picking all my uh, GoPros up as well um, but we, we're on that so into menu and then you've got Skoda Connect Media Command Apple CarPlay Media and so on Skoda Connect you've just got to accept those conditions news petrol stations parking weather points of interest so weather for instance there you go Lancaster and it's showing us the weather there BT audio search for new device well we've already got my my phone there unable to connect mobile it's connected by Apple I, uh, Apple CarPlay so okay I can app I can play like so the system here is tremendous if you can see here it's got these Canton speakers they really really are good uh, alternatively if you're not connected to this you can connect via Bluetooth and you can use the phone via Bluetooth as well anyhow I'll, I'll take you for a ride go there that should be a pleasant drive here we go the routes are being calculated please select a route the destination is in the direction shown. This car, as, as I read out the specification before, it's Please also... follow the road for one mile. It's also got a heated front screen. We've got blind spot monitoring, which is a fantastic... Uh, option it really is it should be both those uh, accessories should be standard on all cars and um, this has also got lane assist which to be honest I find scary um, I don't like the thought of autonomous cars um, I don't think they need inventing at all we, we need fuel economy not 
to be able to just sit back and drive. That, that's we, we need to look after resources, not use them creating stupid things. Um, the, the lane assist is very good. However, sometimes, um, particularly around Preston, the, the white lines are well worn, they've not been painted for ages, and it loses track of where it is, so uh, it takes over. And it, it is only assist, but there is a temptation just to take your hands off the steering wheel, or perhaps that's just me, I don't know. I'll, I'll show you that later anyway. This Alcantara steering wheel is uh, super. It, uh, it's very, very tactile, feels great. Um, not quite as slippy as a, a leather or, or a vinyl one. So uh, it's, it, it is very nice. Multifunction steering wheel, tandem. We've got reversing camera as well, and it's, uh, I'll, I'll show you the reversing camera. As I say, there's, there's so much specification on this car that um, I, I just won't be able to get through it before all my, the batteries run out in my camera. Please turn left after 450 yards. Now turn left. Again, on, on this car you have the VRS button. If I just click that, you've then, you're then faced with all these options. Eco, comfort, normal, sport and individual. It's, uh, it's just gone off. If I click into sport, it tightens the steering wheel up. The, the suspension feels a little tauter. Um, it, it revs quicker, uh, and by revs quicker, I would say that um, in order to control something accurately, the more movement you've got, the more accurate you can control it. So when it's in comfort and you accelerate, you, it's always smoother. You, you, you take off smoother, you set off smoother, um, accelerate out of corners smoother. So I, I, I prefer it in the comfort. I'm sure lots of people out there uh, will, will individualize it. As I say, if I, if I click into here, if I go into individual, right in the corner. So we'll try that again. Go into individual and then change. So you've got all those settings, as you can see, they're all, all, all set to sport there and air conditioning normal. I'm normal or eco, well, normal. So that that's, it's okay, it's okay. To me, <laughs> who prefers comfort to sport, all it seems to do is make you feel the bumps more. Again, the, your steering wheel correction, the car changes direction quicker, but um, I'll stick to comfort. Oh, actually, I'll go this way. But we'll get it back to comfort. Let's say you, you've got more travel on the accelerator and you can just take off smoother. Car's got headlamp, uh, high, high pressure headlamp. It's got LED rear lights. It's a new design at the front with the, the split headlights. Um, some people like them, some people don't, I do. I think it looks nice. I think the whole car looks nice, particularly the alloy wheels. Um, they, they kind of finish the car off. They, they look massive on the car. These 
VRS embroidered seats. Again, it, the interior is it's really beautiful. We've got folding door mirrors, power folding door mirrors. Very comfortable, very quiet. These roads are, are please turn left after 600 yards. These roads are pretty rough too, pretty rough and bumpy. Um, and it's, it's doing a tremendous job of ironing out the bumps. Now turn left. I was hoping the van that's uh, driving about two inches from my bumper would have turned off then, but uh, the road not so for lucky. One mile. find having the screen on for the sat nav very very handy on roads like this because you can see when there's a bend coming up it pre-warns you I think the first Skoda I ever sold was a Skoda Super Estelle and when I was valuing it I asked the guy what made it super and I think it had, this is, this is from memory, a vinyl roof, sunroof and a, a rear spoiler. Um, it, it wasn't too much different than the cars I'd been used to selling which were uh, Opals, they were built like tanks no specification whatsoever. Uh, vinyl seats, vinyl carpets, and uh, you even had to pay extra for a heated rear screen. Um, we sold the Skoda, this is in 1984. We sold the Skoda, and for years later I saw it knocking around Preston, um, and it, it looked just as good as it did when I sold it. So uh, they're obviously built to last. And certainly with the, the, the VW tie-up now, um, the, the, the styling has got a lot better. They're, they're just lovely cars. We sell quite a lot. Um, and uh, the estates particularly, they, they seem really, really well sought after. But I, I could get used to driving this car. It's got the DSG gearbox. You can uh, knock the selector over like so and use it as a manual. Or you can use the, the paddle shift on the back of the... The steering wheel here. The front central armrest uh, that just slides back a little. You've got two cup holders in there, you've got loading space in there or a little storage space. One of the things I do like about the Sport is the exhaust noise. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll just uh, I'll just put it in Sport. And uh, my friend in the van here is still behind us, about, but he's no more than three meters off the back of the car. <laughs> I've got a, a good mind to brake checking, but seeing as this car doesn't belong to us, I'm not going to.
you've got the rev counter on the left there, your information panel in the centre, and then your speed on the right. I'm, I'm fed up of him being behind me. I'll go somewhere else. Bethel Construction. a great day for a drive today and this is the car to be in now just listen to the exhaust uh, unfortunately I, I know I'll put the back ones down I've got the cameras fastened to both side windows because the, there's no place on the headrest to do it Let's just give it a bit of traffic obstructions on the route. Please follow the road for one mile. Why wouldn't they be? Airbnb. That's some size. I could get used to that noise. left after 600 yards. Such a good engine. We've got a height and reach adjustable steering wheel. It's so nice to drive, I'm forgetting to speak, <laughs> which I always do in nice cars. And it just simple touches, a little ticket holder there, meaning you don't have to stick your parking ticket to your, your windscreen. We get cars in all the time where people have left this, the, the parking ticket on the windscreen and it's, it, it ends up bonded to it like Araldite. It takes you ages to clean it off. Just simply slip it in there, don't have to stick it to the, the screen. Just nice little touches. One of the other things I find really helpful on this sat nav as well, normally, there's, um, it's got road sign recognition and it tells you the speed limit of the, uh, the road you're on. 
it's uh, it's always one of those situations where you see a, a traffic camera and now then you, turn right. you hit the brakes um, because you've not seen a sign for miles and you're always unsure. Just see if it, uh, there you go, 30 miles an hour comes up. So the car goes back to Skoda UK tomorrow uh, and I have to say I will miss it. It, it is a beautiful car to drive, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, my experience with Skodas, uh, I have a friend who's a motor trader and there's a local business and all their company cars are Skoda Octavias um, and, and he buys all their old company cars off us. All those cars, when they sell them, have done 200,000 miles plus and I have to say I've, I've picked a few up with him, we, we've, we've gone and got them, I've even run around in one myself and they, they still drive like new at, at 200 plus thousand so I've no hesitation in recommending a, a, a Skoda for somebody who wants to buy a car and keep it, ideal um, and, and the, the new specification is just so good um, I, the, the great cars. Um, I'm just going to take you up the dual carriageway and, and try and demonstrate the don't try and demonstrate a little bit better the lane assist. Now there is the button here, the menu button. You press the menu button that comes up onto assist systems. The top one is lane assist, so I'll click that on. And you see a kind of a picture of a road. At the moment, it's in orange. When, when it detects the, the lines in the road uh, and the system takes over, it goes green. So I'll tell you when it does that, and I'll, and I'll, I'll show you what it does. It is only an assist. It's, it's not autonomous drive. It's just there in case I don't know, You just as a safety system, I, I would assume that uh, it's, if you doze off at the wheel, which a lot of accidents happen, but uh, I, I don't know how long it would keep you safe. Uh, we'll just go up this dual carriageway here. Um, I think I may have forgotten to mention this car also has um, memory seats, three position or, or three there you go, that, that's, that's picked up, you see it there, it's steering me. Now, I, I believe it, it will give you a reminder if it, if it thinks you're not holding the steering wheel, it gives you 10 seconds and then, and then um, tells you to get your act together. So that's that, we've also got the cruise control system, just not the cruise control on one touch at, at the end there. Um, the moment it's just set to 57 you can also if I move that little toggle switch on the top you can set the distance between you and the car in front you can see there it's actually breaking me so we've, we've got the lane assist on and we've got the adaptive cruise control and that's slowing me down I'm not touching the accelerator I'm not touching the brake and it's keeping me a nice distance in, in front so that, that's a great system I'll, I'll just take back over and I'll, I'll knock the uh, lane assist off. You'll probably, or you should notice in a short while, the blind spot monitor. Just wait for somebody to hopefully overtake me. Oh, perhaps not, perhaps we'll have to... Just, uh, this yellow cab has uh, adopted a nice early position for turning right and doing 40 miles an hour up the dual carriageway fortunately you can see him from miles away otherwise one might crash into him I, I swear taxi drivers don't take tests these days So just over there, car come up on the inside and uh, 
the blind spot monitor illuminated. There's one coming up here, but uh, we stopped, so it probably won't uh, think we need to know. There has been a crash on the motorway yet again on the M6 today, so I can't go too far. Hopefully on the M65 we'll be okay. I've just done a video today on how to uh, connect your uh, the, the LAN system to a mobile hotspot. There you go, you can see the uh, blind spot monitor illuminating chaps right in there so uh, warns me not to pull out I'm also kind of getting the idea that the VRS the sport button I suppose it's like having two cars one that you can just drive around normal in the week uh, during the week and then at the weekend click the sport button and it does that too fast then. Right, I better I better put it back to normal where where I'm safer. coming up on the right here there you go the the blind spot excellent system excellent so in closing thank you very much to Skoda UK for lending me this car I already knew they were great cars we sell lots of them I can't think of any not one single Skoda that we've sold that we've had to do any uh, warranty work on so thanks, thanks for that as well, Skoda. And uh, I'm very pleased with this one. If the video was useful, please like and subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll see you on the next test drive. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat-nav uh, in this Skoda Octavia. From any screen, into nav, new destination, this bottom left, city. Now, at the, you've got your keypad here. At the bottom here, in the left-hand side, it says PTCD dot, that's postcode. So you can either put the city in complete or you can go to uh, do the postcode. Um, now we need to touch ABC to go on to the letters first. So we're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantleydale, Preston, PR5. Now the first two are letters obviously and then you have to click the uh, numerals. So it's PR5, 4 and then we go back to letters J, S. So that's our address, or oh, that's our postcode. You're going to click on that and then click start. The routes are being calculated. Please select a route. There you go. So that, that gives you a choice of three routes. That's, that's the fastest. That's the one we want. Now turn right into the destination road. So that's it. Real easy system to use. I'll just show you how to uh, delete a mobile from the memory of this uh, the audio system. So you've got phone there, settings, Bluetooth, paired devices, Barry's iPhone 10, delete. Do you really want to delete Barry's iPhone 10? 
delete. That's it gone. I'll show you how to uh, pair a mobile. So, first thing, make sure Bluetooth is switched on. Bluetooth on. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that from there. It's brought up Skoda BT already. Click on that. Confirm pairing. Does this passkey 516506 match? Yes. And pair. I will be using this car this week because Skoda are very kindly lent me a bit. So, uh, allow. So that's syncing my uh, contacts and favourites. Um, it's connected. One of the other great things about this system is if you go into your iTunes Red triangle at the bottom with three red circles. If you click on that, you'll see Skoda BT0344 or whatever the, the particular Skoda you're in. If that's not ticked, just touch it, make sure. Go back to the music, click play. And then if we go to media here, you see it there it's showing auxiliary. But if you click source, you've got a choice auxiliary BT. And the system in this car is absolutely fantastic. The speakers are brilliant. The, the music, the quality of the music is, is tremendous. So that's how you do that anyway.